Hi, I'm Krishona Martinson, Equine Extension Specialist at the University of Minnesota. Today we're going to demonstrate how to turn over and manage an equine carcass compost pile. When developing a compost management plan, be sure to review your state's regulations on composting livestock mortalities. For example, in Minnesota, mortality compost piles must complete two heating cycles where temperatures above 130 degrees Fahrenheit are achieved and maintained for 7 to 10 days. After this, piles are legally considered composted. Maintaining 24 inches of manure cover over the carcass throughout the compost process is key to managing odor, pests, and wildlife activity. Depressions and cracks along the top of the pile will likely occur within the first week as the carcass settles. At this time, you should plan to rake over existing compost material or top off the pile with additional materials to fill in depressions and cracks. Continue to periodically check your pile for any cracks or carcass exposure and recover as necessary throughout the compost process. A properly constructed compost pile has a low risk of leaching. However, the likelihood of leaching is greatest within the first week. If you notice leaching of liquids from the pile, place dry wood shavings around the base of the pile to absorb moisture and nutrients. This material can later be incorporated into the pile at turning. Temperature is a primary indicator of a compost pile's functionality. We recommend using a 36-inch analog thermometer to take and record temperatures at 18 and 36-inch depths in at least two different locations around the pile. Temperatures should be taken daily for the first 10 days and periodically thereafter. Generally, mortality compost piles will achieve temperatures between 130 and 150 degrees Fahrenheit within the first week following construction. These high temperatures indicate carcass breakdown by, by microorganisms and support pathogen reduction. If your compost pile does not reach 130 degrees Fahrenheit or more within the first week, you should perform a squeeze test to check for pile moisture. The compost should be moist but not wringing wet or dry and crumbly. Dry carbon material such as wood shavings can be incorporated into the pile if the moisture content is too high. If the pile is too dry, you can add water to increase moisture content. Keep in mind that correcting a dry compost pile is much easier than a wet compost pile. Therefore, when constructing a pile, it is best to check the moisture of your materials and air on the dry side. When temperatures steadily decline below 130 degrees Fahrenheit, the compost pile is ready for turning. This generally occurs seven to nine weeks after pile construction to ensure the majority of the carcass has degraded. Use a skid loader or loader tractor to fluff and thoroughly mix the entire compost pile. Check pile moisture and adjust if needed by mixing in water or dry carbon materials. Once the materials are well mixed, reform them into a dome-shaped pile. Make sure to cover any exposed bones or carcass parts with at least 24 inches of material to minimize odor and prevent wildlife scavenging. The pile should re-establish temperatures greater than 130 degrees Fahrenheit within a few days of turning. Pile temperatures will remain greater than 130 degrees Fahrenheit for over a week following turning. However, as microbial activity declines, temperatures will steadily decrease until they are reflective of the air temperature. This cooling phase is known as the curing stage and can last four to five months following turning. The compost materials are further broken down into finer particles, resulting in a dark hummus-like product. By the end of this phase, only large bones will remain in the pile, 
which can be removed and then the compost is ready to be used as a soil amendment. Let's review the key concepts of managing a carcass compost pile. Monitor the pile closely the first week. Fill in any cracks or depressions with compost materials and if needed, use wood shavings to absorb leachate around the base of the pile. Routinely check and record pile temperatures at 18 and 36 inch depths. A properly functioning pile should reach greater than 130 degrees Fahrenheit within the first week. When temperatures gradually decline below 130 degrees Fahrenheit, generally after seven to nine weeks, thoroughly mix the entire pile and reform it into a mound shape. Make sure to cover any exposed carcass parts or bones. Check that the pile reaches temperatures greater than 130 degrees Fahrenheit within a few days of turning. And lastly, allow the compost pile to cure for four to five months, after which the compost can be used as a soil amendment. Thank you.